That Movie Recap Hi! Welcome back to That Movie Recap and today we're going to review a 1988 fantasy adventure film, The Adventures of Baron Munchausen. A wonderful story of an 18th century aristocrat, his brilliant henchman, and a little girl in their attempts to prevent a town from being overrun by the Turks. A few of the unlikely adventures include being devoured by a huge sea monster, traveling to the moon, dancing with Venus, and avoiding the Grim Reaper. So relax and enjoy. The film begins in an unnamed, war-torn European city in the late 18th century, where a fantastic Turing stage presentation of Baron Munchausen's life and adventures is taking place amidst explosions and shooting from a vast Turkish army outside the city gates. Backstage, city official the right ordinary Horatio Jackson underlines the city's devotion to reason by ordering the death of a soldier who had just performed a near-superhuman deed of valor, arguing that the soldier's gallantry demoralizes other soldiers. By single-handedly destroying six enemy cannon. Yes, sir. The officer about whom we've heard so much. I only did my best, sir. Have him executed at once an elderly man claiming to be the real Baron. I am the Baron Munchausen. Stops the play to denounce its numerous inaccuracies. We are presenting a mockery. Over the complaints of the audience, the theater company in Jackson, the real Baron gains the house's attention and narrates through flashback an account of one of his adventures of a life or death wager with the Grand Turk. What do you think of that, eh? Not bad. The wager is if the Baron can provide far more superior tokay or wine than his. Accept my challenge. If I don't succeed, you may cut off my head. Where the younger Baron's life is saved only by his amazing luck plus the assistance of his remarkable associates. Not late, am I? No. Not late, thank you very much. Berthold, the world's fastest runner. Adolphus, a rifleman with superhuman eyesight. What? There's a ball beside him. <laughs> Gustavus, who possesses extraordinary hearing. What's the wind speak? Three knots! Mm. And sufficient lung power to knock down an army by exhaling. <laughs> and Albrecht, a fantastically strong man. The Baron won the wager. You win. And... Allow my friend here to take from the treasury just the strongest man can carry. But the Sultan didn't know that the Baron has the strongest man can carry. Upon knowing this that the Baron take all his treasure, what? the Sultan immediately kill his treasurer. <laughs> the Sultan confronted the Baron and wanted them dead. A fire! When gunfire disrupts the elderly Baron's story, As you can see, the Sultan is still after my head. Jackson cancels the acting troupe's contract because of the Baron. Closed. I want you and your company out of the city by tomorrow. Oh, no, sir, no. The Baron wanders backstage and accidentally having fallen down and become unconscious, where the Angel of Death tries to take his life. <laughs> but Sally Salt, the young daughter of the theater company's leader, saves him and persuades him to remain living. Am I dead? No. Later on, Sally races to the wall yelling for the Turkish army to go away. Get away! And the Baron accidentally fires himself through the sky using a mortar. <laughs> and returns riding a cannonball. narrowly escaping the angel of death once again. 
insisting that he alone can save the city. You shall come to no harm. <laughs> The Baron escapes over the city's walls in a hot air balloon constructed of women's underwear and accompanied by Sally as a stowaway. Where are we going? To the moon! What? It'll take ages! No, it won't! The balloon expedition proceeds to the moon and arrive there, where oh, the Baron, yeah. who has grown younger, you look different. Younger and finds his old associate Berthold. Berthold! I... But angers the king of the moon, a giant with separate minds in his head and body, who resents the baron for his romantic past with the queen of the moon. You're the little guy tried to make off with my queen last time you were here, huh? The death of the king's body. I'm free at last! The body is dead! And a bundled escape from the moon brings the trio back to the earth and into the volcano of the Roman god Vulcan. I am Vulcan, the god. Later, he revealed that he is working on his prototype. Oh, this is our prototype. RX uh, Intercontinental Radar Sneaky Multi War Headed Nuclear Missile. He hosts the group as his guests and reveals Albrecht is working as his servant. Albrecht? Albrecht? <sighs> the Baron and Vulcan's wife, the goddess Venus. Hello attempt a romantic interlude by waltzing in the air. But this cuts short the hospitality when Sally tells. The Baron's kissing your wife. Vulcan expels the four from his kingdom into the South Seas. The four fall down from the bottom of the volcano. Through the center of the world, we come out on the other side. The four swim in an upside down. When Sally see an island, an island! When suddenly it moves, it appears not an island, but a giant sea monster. <laughs> Swallowed by an enormous sea creature, Inside, the travelers locate Gustavus, Adolphus, Adolphus, Gustavus, and the Baron's trusty horse Bucephalus. Prepare a rowing boat and be ready to leave. Finally, they escape by blowing a modicum of snuff out into the sea creature's cavernous interior, causing it to sneeze the heroes out through its whale-like blowhole. <laughs> The Baron, young once again, sails to where the Turkish army is located, but the Baron's associates are too elderly and tired to fight. They're all old and tired now. Don't you see? The Baron lectures them firmly, but to no avail. And he storms off intending to surrender to the Grand Turk. The Baron hears Jackson and the Grand Turk as he enters the yurt. You surrender. But we're winning. We surrendered last time, so now it's your turn. Ugh. But the Sultan has a request to Jackson. What about the Virgin? We're out of virgins. They are interrupted when the Baron speaks, which freaks out the Sultan. If you are still interested in my head, send for the executioner! As the Baron was about to be headed, his companions rally to save the Baron, Adolphus shoot the axe before it land on the Baron's neck which fly to Sultan's turban cutting it in half. <laughs> Immediately, the Baron kills all the Sultan's general before they could even react. Gustavus on the other hand, blows away the Sultan's army even he almost choked to death due to his age. One Turk soldier shoot the Baron from distance away, seeing this, Berthold rushes to save the Baron but flip his foot to a rock and falls down but he continued to save the Baron and try to catch the bullet but it was too hot to handle, so he overtake the bullet with his amazing speed and block with some armor, the bullet ricochet back to the shooter. <laughs> Meanwhile, the strongest man Albrecht left up three ships and throws it down to the Turks army crushing them. And through a series of fantastic acts, they rout the Turkish army away and liberate the city. During the city's celebratory parade, the Baron is shot dead by Jackson. 
And the angel of death appears a final time to take the Baron's life. An emotional public funeral takes place, but the denouement reveals that this is merely the final scene of yet another story the Baron is telling to the same theater goers in the city. And that was only one of the many occasions on which I met my death. The Baron leads the citizens to the city gates to reveal the city has indeed been saved. Though it is unclear if the events of the battle occurred in a story or in reality. Sally asks, it wasn't just a story, was it? It wasn't just a story, was it? The Baron grins, rides off on Bucephalus, and then disappears. If you enjoy movies like this please don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That's all for now hope you enjoy watching. Thank you and take care. Have you any famous last words? Not yet. Not yet? Is that famous?